Good morning, Blade family. Today we will learn about the L in family, which is legacy. So first, let's figure out what do we mean by legacy? Well, legacy is defined by the dictionary as something that is part of your history or that remains from an earlier time. As you know, our school opened in 1938 and is the second oldest school in Bakersfield. In fact, it's actually the first school to have the name Bakersfield in it. Having been a school for so many years, we have a very long and rich legacy and you are a part of it. So with that in mind, what can you do to leave a legacy that you can be proud of? Let's first think about what does legacy look like in the classroom? In this picture, you see our assistant principal, Mrs. Mawson, who is herself a proud Blade alumna, helping a student before graduation. Probably the biggest way you can join the legacy of EBHS is by graduating. To your graduate, you become an alumni of the second oldest high school in Bakersfield and join the hundreds of thousands of others who are able to call East High their alma mater. You may have noticed this face in the Career Center and wondered who he was. This is Bob Ray, who was a three-sport star at East Bakersfield High School, as well as an ASB president and Bobby Blade, the legacy that we continue during homecoming. Bob, like many young men of this era, was drafted in the Vietnam War. In July of 1968, Bob's company was under fire from the Viet Cong, and while dragging a wounded American soldier across a hundred yards of open ground, he was mortally wounded. For his bravery, Bob Ray received the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, and the Purple Heart, the highest awards a soldier can receive. Bob was not only an inspiration to the Blade family as a student, but his accomplishments have inspired generations of Blades that came after him and is still an inspiration today. What does legacy look like on campus though? Probably most of the memories you make from this school will come from someplace outside of the classroom. That's why it's so important to be involved. You have teams that you'll play on, games you'll cheer for, dances you go to, clubs you participate in, clubs that you'll create. There's so many ways to get involved here and make a positive memory and impact on the East High School as well as Eastside community. When you look back on these years, let them be ones that make you smile. Choose positive things to do with your time and you will have no regrets. Even after you graduate from East, you're still part of the Wade family. You may or may not know that every year, a committee of alumni select 10 of our former Blades to honor in the EBHS Hall of Fame. Lawyers, actors, doctors, athletes, teachers, business owners, you name it. Blades have gone on to do amazing things. They've gone on to use their time and talents to give back to our family by volunteering, donating, and mentoring current students and staff. We want to leave the school better than when we arrived. So on the left, you're going to see a picture of the school when it was first opened. It's tiny. On the right side, you see all the areas that were added on over the years. As you can see, our school has grown and evolved since it opened in 1938, with generations of students and staff leaving this place better than they found it. Right now, as students, you can help contribute to this and respect the age and beauty of our school by not throwing trash down the stairs, not marking on the walls, being careful when hanging posters, putting trash in the trash can, and letting staff know when something's broken or vandalized. By letting us know when something is broken or damaged, we can get custodial on the case to make repairs so that small issues don't grow into bigger ones. We have a beautiful, unique campus, and we need to keep it that way. So, we've talked about what it looks like in the classroom, what it looks like on campus, and even ways that sometimes the way that we act at school can impact our East Side community. So, let's think about legacy all throughout this month and the way that we can create positive impacts and positive memories to help build up the school. We wanna ask ourselves: will this legacy be a positive one or a negative one that harms our school and its reputation? So let's ask ourselves, how do you want to be remembered over the course of the four years you're here at East? So on your legacy form, write down one thing you plan to do to have a better attitude in the classroom or on campus this month or even a way that you can continue the legacy that we have already put into place here at East. Maybe it's joining a sport, joining that club that you forgot about at the beginning of the year, or improving your grades so that you make sure that you are the next East High graduate of your family. Let's keep your form safe and add to each Monday to track your progress. 
Once the forms are completed, you need to turn them in at the end of the month for some legacy swag. Good luck, Bleeds. Thank <laughs> you.